Hey guys, Erin here with another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we'll be going over a third way on how to save an image as a JPEG. The first way I showed you was doing a control print screen on your keypad. The second way I showed you was using your snipping tool. Now the issues that I've had with both of these from your guys' comments is the control print screen doesn't make the resolution high enough to be a nice clear image which is completely understandable. And second of one, on the snipping tool, some of you said you couldn't find it on your, I'm assuming, Macs. I don't have a Mac, so I'm not really sure of that. So I did accidentally find a third way last night when I was making a PDF file. So we'll go over how to do that really quick. You will need a PDF creator. If you don't have one, I will link one down below in the description box and that one um, should be free. They usually are. So the first thing you'll need to do is pull up your image. I've already taken my cut lines off and I did that by highlighting and going to the cut line and just hitting the clear box. Now I'll actually need to change the size of my background and my image because it is using the PDF creator. And if you watch my PDF creator video, then you'll know that you have to make your page in eight and a half by 11 for it to work correctly. So to do that, we're going to go to the right hand side and open the page setup panel. And we're just gonna change the width to eight and a half and the height to 11. Now you might say, oh, I need my image to be a 12 by 12. It's totally fine. You still need to do this and your image can still print as a 12 by 12 though. And then I'm just going to fit my image into the white square. And I do it this way just so that I know exactly what kind of space I have to play with. Now you'll go to File and Print, and you will click on your PDF Creator and hit Print. This may take a minute to convert, and then it'll pop up asking you what you want to title your document, and we'll just hit some numbers, and then hit Save. And then I'm going to change it from a PDF to a JPEG and hit Save. And there it is, saved as a JPEG. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to get to those pretty quickly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Share it if you want to, that helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you hit the bell at the top of the page, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. As always guys, happy crafting.